Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fasya Aulia from Instructional Design and Strategies for Teaching English A3. Uh, today I'm going to uh, present about an article. Uh, the title is Teachers Teaching Strategies in EFL. The background of this article is the study's background as presented in the article is on the examination of the teaching strategies used by English teachers as at SMPN 20 Kota Bengkulu with a specific emphasis on first grade instruction. The study aims to investigate the rationale, the rationale, the rationale behind the choice of particular teaching methods and how well they work in the context of teaching English. The problem of the research. The researcher found several problems, namely, first, teachers are difficult to find strategies to practice in English, in teaching English. Second, the teachers have difficulties to match strategies with English materials. Third, teachers are hard to apply the strategies in the classroom, and then each student has different ability and knowledge. Fifth, students have problems to understand English materials. And the last is the values of students are still low. And then the study has three aims, such as first to describe the teacher teaching strategies in EFL class at the first grade of SMP 20 Kota Bengkulu. Second, to know why does the teacher choose those strategies in EFL class at first grade of SMP 20 Kota Bengkulu. And the last is to find and describe about the difficulties faced by English teacher in choosing a strategy in AFL class at first grade in SMPN 20 Kota Bengkulu. Okay, teaching strategies. Teaching strategy can be defined as a plan, method, or a series activities to achieve particular educational goal. Richard Jackson and Rogers. 1986. In addition, teaching strategies are defined as the role taken by teacher or a teaching device such as computer, program text, or television set in order to facilitate learning by Klein and Francis 1991. Moreover, teaching strategy is the approach that the teachers use for particular lesson and to the specific objectives for a particular le res lesson. According to Killens, Killen, such as teaching strategies as follow, for, uh, there are direct instruction, discussion, small group work, cooperative learning, problem solving, research, role play, case study, and writing. The methodology, the methodology of this research, this approach foc focuses on understanding the perspectives and cultures of individuals involved, often through direct personal interaction. By employing qualitative methods, the researcher aim to gather to gather rich information and gain qualitative and gain deeper insight from the participants' viewpoints. The data collection methods included observation, interviews, and documentation conducted at SMPN 20 Kota Bengkulu, specif specifically targeting teachers' teaching at the first grade level. Following data collection, analysis was carried out using the framework provided by Miles and Haberman 1991, the analysis process involved collecting data through observation and interviews, selecting relevant data based on the study's objective, and presenting it in a narrative form. Subs subsequently, cons conclusions were drawn for the displayed data. Additionally, to ensure the validity of the findings, observations were complemented by interviews. Overall, this methodology aimed to provide insight to the teaching strategies employed by English teacher and their impact on the teaching and learning process. The research findings discuss the teaching strategies employed by English teachers at the first grade of SMPN 20 Kota Bengkulu, focusing on six out of nine strategies identified by Killen. 
These strategies include direct instruction, discussion, small group activities, role play, problem solving, and cooperative learning. The reason for choosing these strategies revolve around fostering enthusiastic student participation and creating a relaxed learning atmosphere while still achieving learning objectives. Direct instruction aids in material comprehension while discussion and small group activities promote mutual promote mutual respect and knowledge sharing among students. Role play facilitates vocabulary acquisition and English speaking practice. However, English teachers face several challenges in selecting appropriate strategies such as limited supporting facilities and infrastructure. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic has ex exacerbated these difficulties with the shift to online learning posing additional obstacles, particularly for students from economically disadvantaged backgrounds who lack access to necessary technology. Okay, the conclusion of this article. The conclusion drawn from the research indicates that teaching strategies play a vital, vital role in facilitating effective learning processes and achieving educational goals. These strategies are methods and efforts utilized by teachers to transfer knowledge to students, ensuring that learning occurs efficiently through observation, interviews, and documentation for primary teaching strategies were identified among English teachers at SMP 20 Kota Bengkulu's first grade level, direction interaction, direct instruction, discussion, small group activities, and role play. The strategies are pro predominantly employed to enhance the teaching and learning experience in the classroom. Direct instruction is favored uh, for the, its ability to simplify material comprehension through teacher-led explanation and example provision. Additionally, it facilitates critical thinking and analysis among students. However, English teachers face challenges in selecting and implementing strategies due to minimal sporting facilities and infra infrastructure. Moreover, determining suitable strategies for first grade junior high school students presents, as a, presents a challenge given their transi the transitional pace and limited vocabulary. Overall, the study underscores the importance of strategic planning and adaptation in educational settings to optimize student learning outcomes. Okay, maybe that's all the review from me. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.